Welcome to Make Something With Me, David Pacino, and today we are going way back. In 1991, I made this bookshelf cat decoration for my mom for Mother's Day. It broke, she gave it back to me to fix. We're gonna fix it in this video, as well as make a new one with a new and better design. This is a great project that you can sell at craft shows. It's gonna be a great project for Mother's Day. Let's have some fun today. Check it. Way back when I was in high school, 1992, 91-ish, I made this for my mom. It's a little cat that's made to sit on a bookshelf, like so, and it's got a little mouse dangling down. Decades later, it's fallen off the shelf and broke in a few places, and my mom gave it back to me to fix. So we're gonna glue these guys back on there, fill in that ear, and fix it, and repaint it, but I thought, Hey, this is one of my first ever woodworking projects. How about I remake it? So I went to KenCraft, got a piece of cherry, drew up a new cat, which is a better design than what I drew 25 years ago, and we're gonna make a brand new one. The cool thing about this, it's two pieces, and each piece uses a template that's slightly different. One template has the paw hanging down, and the other template has the paw going forward. And so when we put them together, the hanging down part will just be on the one side. This is a great craft show project, really simple. All you need is a bandsaw. Let's do it. I'm gonna use some spray adhesive and attach the template to this board. And then we're gonna cut this out over at the bandsaw. Wait a second. Let's gang these up and do two at a time. Now, we'll cut this out on the bandsaw. I'm just using a small 10 inch bandsaw to cut these out. That blade is a 3 16th 4 TPI skip tooth blade and that's the only blade I use in this little guy and it works great. The little mouse, we lost the mouse, there's the mouse. Uh, I use clamps to keep my hands away from there. If you have a scroll saw, this would be much easier. You could also do this on the scroll saw. Ugh. There we go. I didn't sand them before prying them apart is because we want to glue the two opposite sides together and then sand them so we get a nice even. Before gluing these together, it's going to be easier to sand this paw now. While that is drying, We'll start the repair on this guy. A little bit of wood glue and CA glue. There's some weak points on there and it'll just be easier to clamp it with the CA glue. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Oh man. Ugh. Maybe, maybe we need to work on that cap design. We'll just kind of hold that there until it sets. I'm noticing I made this out of cherry and then painted it. Things were different back in 1992. Plastic wood. Just kind of fill that in there. Instead of adding putty on there, that's just gonna chip away. So I'm gonna sand that down flat and I glued up this block that will just kind of glue right in there and cut a new ear, sort of like a, an ear transplant. What a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. Now we're gonna sand off some of this wood putty. So 25 years ago, uh, I did a terrible sanding job. I don't wanna cover that up. We'll leave, the, we'll leave all the little flaws in there. 
so mom can remember how bad of a woodworker I used to be. Back over to these guys. Something I want to improve on from the original design that I did 20 some years ago is to thin out the tail. So I think I'm going to just go to the bandsaw and cut that out like right there. That will make it weak, but we'll see what happens. Everything is an experiment. Make sure that's on the base and not, you don't want to, you don't want the blade to catch it and flip it up. Keep your hands away from the blade. So for this little mouse, I'm going to attach it. Its tail is going to be a parachute cord. So we're going to drill a hole that will accept this guy. Just cut, son of a glue on the end of, not that much. A little right there, a little right there. This one is going to have the, the mouse. This one, we're just gonna use, we're gonna make a little ball of yarn and then have that hanging because this guy was kind of hard to make because it's so small and you don't want your fingers that close to the bandsaw. Kind of hard to sand. I had Dan do it because I didn't want to. Before we finish these cats up, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, and that is Squarespace. Squarespace empowers you by providing the tools you need to bring your creative ideas to life. On Squarespace's dynamic all-in-one platform, you can claim a domain, build a website, sell online, and market your brand. My website, makesomething.com, and my podcast, makingitpodcast.com, are both Squarespace sites. Before this whole YouTube thing, I used to be a professional web developer and I use Squarespace because it's easy to use and there's tons of beautiful templates to choose from. Many of you are also using Squarespace and a few weeks ago I asked you to send me your Squarespace links and that's what you're seeing on the screen now. If you want me to feature your work next month, post a link to your Squarespace site down below in the comments and I may feature you. Head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash make something for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And this one, I know it's beautiful cherry, but it's just wood. It grows on trees around here. The select one, I'm gonna to try to make a ball of yarn. Glue it to itself. <laughs> oh boy. There it is. I made this way back in, I think 1991 in high school wood shop class, probably on the scroll saw and the band saw. I did end up repainting it after fixing it. I left all the previous mistakes and marks on there just as a documentation from my life back then. These guys came out great. I like the ball of yarn. This was a lot easier to do than trying to cut this little mouse out on the bandsaw. If you have a scroll saw, that's gonna be a lot easier. Also, cutting the rest of it out on the scroll saw might save you some time while sanding. This is a great craft show project, a great Mother's Day gift project, just a great fun project to do on the bandsaw. The wood, the cherry wood, it came from my friends at KenCraft. Sorry, I painted over the cherry on this one. Had to do it. Just had to do it. So I'd like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I'd like to thank you for watching the video. We'll see you in a few days with a brand new project. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and
make something.